Rush Investigator General prepping dynamite report, will blow Mueller to smithereens. The incredibly biased and highly politicized nature within the supposedly impartial Department of Justice, Federal Bureau of Investigation and Special Counsel investigation has become increasingly clear in recent weeks. On his Wednesday program, conservative talk radio host Rush Limbaugh discussed the possibility that the information uncovering bias so far has been selectively released from an impending dynamite report from the DOJ Inspector General's investigation. The reportedly massive year-long investigation is said to contain many bombshells that would destroy the foundation of the accusations against Trump regarding collusion during the campaign. Among these revelations were tidbits such as the anti-Trump text messages sent between FBI agent Peter Strzok, who seemed to have a hand in every recent major political investigation, and FBI lawyer Lisa Page. These texts revealed their decided support of Hillary Clinton and hostile opposition to then-candidate Donald Trump. Additionally, connections linking DOJ attorney Bruce Orr and his wife. Nellie or two Democrat-linked opposition research firm Fusion GPS and the infamous anti-Trump dossier compiled by ex-British spy Christopher Steele were revealed. It is suspected by some that the dossier may have been the foundation for the 2016 FISA warrant to spy on then-candidate Trump's campaign and what ultimately led to Robert Mueller's special counsel investigation of alleged Russian collusion. Rush focused on a tweet from Wall Street Journal reporter Kimberly Strissel regarding a particular text between Strzak and Page about their discussions of failed Democrat candidate Hillary Clinton on phones that can't be traced. Strissel rhetorically asked how many other FBI agents used untraceable so-called burner phones for private conversations as well. That text from Strzak and Page related to another text about a conversation they had in August 2016. The conversation was held in the office of FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe regarding an insurance policy in case Trump won the election. In retrospect, that insurance policy would seemingly be the special counsel investigation based upon the phony Trump dossier alleging collusion with Russia. Russia also spoke about Fusion GPS contractor Nelly or wife of now demoted DOJ slash SC attorney Bruce Orr, who neglected to report his dealings with Fusion GPS regarding the dossier. She registered as a ham radio operator around the same time that her employer began working with Steele to compile the dossier, perhaps in an effort to discuss things via untraceable shortwave radio communications. When taken together, all of these little tidbits of information serve to undermine the thin veneer of impartiality of Mueller's investigation, considering so many members of that investigation have been shown to be highly partisan individuals with a stake in keeping Trump out of the office of the presidency. As Rush pointed out, this is only a working theory at this point, and it's one he admittedly isn't 100% sure about. That said, there are a number of dot connecting, thread weaving individuals on Twitter, not to mention the conservative treehouse, that dove head first into the rabbit hole to try and make sense of all of this. Essentially, the theory suggests that many of the mid to high level authorities at the DOJ and FBI colluded together in a partisan manner with the Clinton campaign to both protect Hillary Clinton and take out Trump prior to the election. When that failed, they used the foundation put in place by the dossier-supported FISA warrant to continue spying on Trump after the election, laying the groundwork for further investigation and eventual impeachment. But all of that actual collusion during and after the 2016 election will be exposed to the public when the Inspector General's report is released at some point in January, and what happens after that is anyone's guess. Please share this story on Facebook to let everyone know about the theory Rush Limbaugh recently discussed regarding the potential for the DOJ IGS investigative report to utterly upend the politicized FBI and their shady dealings with Hillary Clinton against Donald Trump. What do you think of this theory about the Inspector General's impending report on FBI politicization? Scroll down to comment below, and below.